Hello, my friends. I'm Pastor Doug, and it's my joy to visit with you again. I read an interesting blog today by Rick Warren, and want to acknowledge uh, that what he wrote got me to thinking a lot about things as we begin this new year. In his devotional, he raised a critical question. Is there hope? There is no doubt that we are living in a broken world today. We're a divided country that more than ever needs to come together. And locally, nationally, and globally, the pandemic still has the upper hand for the moment. It really is a fair question. And I think if we're honest, pastors and churches have struggled with hopelessness. We have faced unprecedented challenges in 2020, unlike any year before us. And if it were not for faith, the answer to this question might be quite different. Is there hope? Absolutely yes. That confidence is based on God's word, the experience of each generation, and the fact that God chose to come among us and be with us. In fact, the name that was given to Jesus, the very name Emmanuel, God with us, gives us hope. Is there hope? Yes, because God chose us. God took the initiative and sent his son to be our savior. God had a plan that would provide for our forgiveness and assure us of everlasting life. And all of it was based on God's love for each of us. We know that verse from John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that, he, that everyone who believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. My friends, is there hope? Absolutely. God will protect us. You know, sometimes I think in our lives, certainly in recent times, we might feel like the disciples that day when they were on the stormy sea of Galilee. And even though Jesus was on board, they were afraid they were going to perish. They were so afraid they woke Jesus up. And after he calmed the storm, he looked at them and he said, where is your faith? Hmm. I think myself included, we need in faith to remind ourselves that what? God is with us and that he is watching over us, just like a shepherd watches over his flock. We read in 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 14, this verse, through your faith, God is protecting you by his power until you receive this salvation, which is ready to be revealed on the last day for all to see. Yes, my friends, there are going to be days and times that all of us feel helpless and powerless for a moment. And it's in those times that we need to remind ourselves that, yes, God is in control. He chose us first. And in the greatest act of love, he put into motion a plan for our salvation. That gives us hope. And the other thing that we need to remind us when we feel a little bit doubtful is that we can be sure that God's power is bigger than any problem we'll ever face. You see, my friends, with God's help, there is definitely hope. Amen. Well, I have a few announcements to share with you, uh, some things that I've shared before, but there's been some changes. So let's uh, just update you with things. Uh, Wesley uh, has committed to filling the mobile mission van in cooperation with Do Over Ministries. Uh, we're collecting things like coats, sleeping bags, thermal underwear, flashlight, batteries, gloves, backpacks. But their van right now needs some repairs. And so the date for distribution has been pushed back to January 20th. So you can bring items into the office uh, during, uh, during to the church during normal office hours, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 9 till 2, or, or on Sunday mornings. And you can do that through January 19th. Um, the January, February issue of the Upper Room and offering envelopes are in the church lobby. And uh, please stop by and pick them up if you haven't already done so. Um, the, 
We're going to be de-decorating the church and putting away our Christmas decorations for uh, the year. And um, if you'd like to help out, we're going to do that Monday morning at 9.30. Uh, more hands uh, makes the job a little bit easier. And we do continue to live stream our worship service every Sunday morning at 9 o'clock. And we do that on both Facebook and YouTube. Well, my friends, I, I know it's a, a statement that I make every week, but I really do enjoy visiting with you. Uh, it's one of the ways that we can stay connected. And um, just thank you for letting me come into your lives and, and share a thought with you and, and to stay connected in this way. And let's close our time with a word of prayer. Let us pray. Loving God, we thank you for choosing us, saving us, helping us, and protecting us. We know that you are with us and for us, and that gives us hope. Help us keep the faith and to trust you for all that we need. We ask this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, my friends, it was great to see you today, and uh, stay safe. And stay strong, and uh, we'll talk again soon. Bye-bye.